What is going on guys? We are at scene 75 here in Dayton, Ohio. This location uh, is the original, I believe, from 2012, but it recently reopened after getting massive damage from a uh, storm. Uh, so they have a new roller coaster and a bunch of other things. So let's go inside and show you everything that there is to offer here at the Dayton location. There's also a uh, Columbus vaca vacation that we have done a video of. So check that out as well. Here's the welcome desk, and then of course you have the prize desk. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. Well, there's some really cool stuff in here. Look, you get video games, Apple TV, merchandise. Look at all this. That's a really cool prize counter. Right, first off, on the right as you walk in is the bar and grill. Looks pretty fun. Let's see what they have. Here is the menu. It's pretty cool and lots of stuff on tap it looks like. That's a pretty tapped bar. Looks awesome. Not sure the price is in there, but it's there. They have the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. That's really cool. It's like a throwback to the old ones from the uh, late 90s or early 90s, late 80s. The Wizard of Oz collection game, so good. Uh, then you can have your party here, which I would say is a really great place to have your party because this location is really good. I like it more than the Columbus location. They've got laser tag and another bar right here, which is really nice. It, the, the cocktail and the prices aren't too bad. Let's take a look at them. There we go. Look at those. Those are not too bad of prices for your, your drinks. I am not sure if they're mixed, pre-mixed or not. Uh, the margaritas are, obviously, but a nice uh, set of uh, things on tap, that tire, uh, you know, it looks okay. Oh, we can check out the observation deck of the lace tag, so we can take a look at that. Looks pretty just past the bar that we showed you a second ago. You need to have a mini bowling arena. So, tiny little uh, balls that you don't, that you just hold in your palm instead of putting your fingers into. Uh, those are always fun. Uh, there's all types of little bowling attractions. And uh, super bikes, that looks fun. And then finally, uh, looks like they have volleyball out back. Definitely too wet and cold for that today. Let's take a little look at it really quickly before we go back to our tour of the rest of the place. There it is. It look like they've been doing volleyball very recently, but they have it. All right, let's resume. Then you have the Halo Fireteam Raven. I love this game. Every time I do one of these tours, which we have many of, uh, I always point this out because it's one of my favorite is arcade games. We have mini golf, the voyage through the sea. This is one of two mini golf courses. This is the black light one, which is really cool. Similar to the one in Columbus, it has some projections on the wall. Looks really cool. You have uh, a small little uh, 3D or 4D type deal. And not a trial tech. It looks like you've got a motion simulator based in everything. So that looks pretty cool. Let's see them going right there. Let's let them go and then we'll check out the uh, racing place, which is their go-karts, electric go-karts. Looks like they have a pretty good amount of speed. From what I remember, these look way faster than ones in Columbus. Those were slow. Cool course. And there is the X-Rider. Looks like you have different films to choose from. The Cosmic Coaster, look at that, that looks fun. No interactivity, it doesn't seem, just watching a movie. Here are the different movies they have. Cosmic Coaster, Wall of China, Snow Ride. We've done Snow Ride, Snow Ride's cool. Dino Safari and Fantasy Coaster King Python and Orcs 3D. 
Moving on to the giant room. This place is huge. They say that the uh, Columbus location is the largest one, but this one just seems, I don't know, massive to me. All right, here you go. Dang, there's a lot to do in here. Look at all this. More redemption games and arcade games. Not a lot of classic stuff if you're looking for that, but you know, this Hot Wheels game looks fun. And then you have the Mario Kart, which is always a great time. Here's the Bounce Zone Extreme. That is a lot of inflatable stuff. And they have a little toddler area, which is great to see. So kids of all ages can enjoy it. There we go. Oh, look at this new coin pusher. I've not seen this thing before. The Flintstones, that's fun. There you go. You have the spin zone, which is your little uh, bumper boats on land ride. These are always fun because occasionally the music just takes over your car and you just spin randomly. Or if you hit someone hard enough. I don't know if these are the ones. No, these are not the ones where if you hit somebody randomly that it, um, sets them off. Have another Wizard of Oz because two is better than one, in my opinion, especially when it comes to those. You have a little mini golf course over here. Not too bad of a price, a little expensive, I'd say, for $9. If you want to see all the prices, their website it does have most of those on there. Uh, pretty basic looking golf, mini golf course, not a lot of thrills to it, but looks fun. You have a double-decker carousel, which is um, not something I was expecting. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll drop right in here. And then, I love this, the meltdown, which is like one of these wipeout things where the kids need to jump over and like chip under the thing. Uh, not, not going too well, not going too well. And then finally, you have the tsunami coaster in the back, which is absolutely insane if you sit in the back seat. Let's show you that a little bit closer. Oh, God! <laughs> Like finally you have the home run zone simulator which uh looks pretty cool yeah it's one of these things where you, uh, you hit the ball at the screen and it simulates your hit on the television very cool so yeah i, I like this location uh, i think there is definitely more to do at the columbus location and as more locations uh, are added, we'll probably go check some of those out. But for now, you can check out the uh, Columbus location, as I said at the beginning of the video, uh, to compare them and see which one you want to go to if, if you're in the Ohio area. But uh, yeah, uh, pretty good. And um, you know, the coaster is $7 if you want to do that. Uh, if you're you know, a roller coaster person. And uh, as I said, for the second time or third time, ride in the back seat. So. Uh, yeah, I like the location. It's, it's very nice and, you know, they went through a lot. I believe, like, the whole roof was torn off and all that stuff. So, uh, great to see them recover and reopen this location. And, uh, thank you so much for watching this little video. Uh, if you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment below. And, uh, thanks to your view. Every view means a lot to me. This has been Alex for The Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.